Honey, you want to explain what's going on tonight? So I'm being a master chef and cooking absolutely nothing. Um, <laughs> I care so much about my wife's um, health and our baby's health that I'll go out of my way to prepare my wife's meals in snack form, all cut up and diced up nicely, so that she has the perfect balance of fruits and, well, fruits and vegetables. So a little dairy, she doesn't like it, so I just put a little bit in. <laughs> and then of course, for taste, we add a little granola, which is the worst part, but she likes it the most. <laughs> it just goes to show how much your hubby loves you, Shannon. Yeah, so tell me what you've been uh, creating, um, Chef Anthony. Oh, Chef Anthony, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> right here, we have a parfait without any yogurt in it because the yogurt's here. I haven't finished. And then here, right now we have a cucumber that has, yeah, just cucumber right now. But we're gonna add celery, not much nutritional value. Radish chips um, because I convinced her to get radish chips. I made an ultimatum. I said either we get radish chips or broccoli and she's never had radish chips, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have to eat them too. Yeah, but I don't mind radish chips. Then um, we also have green peppers, carrots that will go into it, and mini Bay Bell mozzarella cheese things because, well, cheese is also dairy. Um, and then, of course, we have, I think it was really good, True Goodness TM sponsorship. <laughs> um, organic. Ranch dressing. I think it's actually really tasty. Shannon disagrees, but we'll see who wins on that one. Um, as far as things go, it's just a lot of chopping up and adding together. So all it takes is time. No skill involved unless you mean cutting, but just don't cut yourself and that's about all you need. <laughs> yeah, so Anthony's been making, um, he made these before and we liked them, so we're doing it again. So it's kind of meal prepping, I guess, but snack prepping, I guess. Um, we haven't graduated to the big meals yet. Well, it's meal prepping if you're a vegan. Sure. Vegetarian? <laughs> I don't know. Tell me in the comments below, does yogurt make it non-vegan? I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, so what we have here is we have, like Anthony said, these little fruit parfaits. Um, and in them we have strawberry. We've got some, um, what are these, blackberries, mm -hmm. blueberries, mm -hmm. um, raspberries, mm -hmm. and then grapes. Mm -hmm. um, so right now Anthony is cutting up the strawberries right now. And then honey, he adds a couple to each one. Um, and we have these really cute little, um, what are these things called? Tupperware things? Yeah, Tupperware containers, and they're like the perfect size. They're supposed um, to be for soup. <laughs> they're supposed to be for soup, but we don't really care for soup too much. Except for dinner. Except for dinner. <laughs> um, and really, we only eat that about once a month or something, soup-wise. Um, but yeah, he fills it with... You dinner. <laughs> no. <laughs> He fills it with all these fruit, and then um, he pours the um, yogurt on top of them and all into them, and then um, tops them with the granola, which I love this granola. It's so yummy. Um, I think it's the best part of the parfait. <laughs> we're honestly not sponsored by any of these companies because we're not popular enough. <laughs> but, yeah. hey, Kellogg's right there. Yeah, Kellogg's, we like your granola. JK. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, Anthony is working on uh, cutting up the, the fruit. And then um, we also have, like we said before, um, vegetables as well. And we have little containers that we fill up with um, ranch to dip them in. So right now they kind of look like pickles, but um, these are cucumbers that we have cut up. Um, and then we have these green peppers we're gonna cut up. Um, and we have carrots as well. Um, so that's gonna be um, 
one part, the fruit will be the other part, and then like in Vanessa, we have these little Fayetteville cheeses, which I just recently found out that I actually like. <laughs> um, so, we, new year, new us, we are trying to um, eat healthier, um, especially me with the baby. Um, we're just trying to make better choices and try to save money and not go out to eat as, as often. Um, and so if we can do that with the fruit and the vegetables, um, then we are going to try. Plus, Anthony needs to lose weight. He ate a bunch of like holiday snacks and food and more food and decided he thought he was going to go exercise and he didn't. So yeah, we're going to have to fix that. You went exercising today though. Yes, I did. Day one. 4,000 more to go. Yeah, why don't you tell them all while we're here um, what you do for work? I don't, oh. think, I don't think you've ever told them. Have I? I work for Honda. Well, <laughs> you need to say more than just that. <laughs> tell them like what you do. If, if people think, oh, he works at Honda, he must just like be a mechanic that fixes my car when it breaks down. I could be. You'll never know. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm an engineer for Honda. I make cars and stuff. Um, new cars. And um, right now, I'm designing new parts for cars. I can't really talk about it all that much because it's kind of, you know, secretive. But um, I'm making safety features. And they should be coming out in cars in the future. And it's kind of nice. Yeah, so Anthony works at Honda. He's worked there for about a year and a half now. Yep. Um, More than a year and a half, actually. Yeah, a little over that. Um, and Honda has a huge plant here in Ohio that Anthony works at. And he actually works, like, in the plant. He doesn't work, like, on the line building cars. He more designs the cars because he has a degree in mechanical engineering. Um, and so right now Anthony's in a program where he switches um, around different sections of Honda and learns about the different process of how a car is made and things like that. Yep. Um, Eventually I will wind up sometime August this year in plastic injection molding. Um, actually designing the dies and running the presses. And then um, hopefully sometime they'll bring me over to Japan to help them out with some stuff. But Japan's actually arguably better than the United States right now for Honda with designing these things. They have a bigger group than us. So we're kind of like a fledgling group, but we're growing quickly and we're getting really good quick. Yeah, so um, I don't know if you all know, but Anthony went to Japan for eight months mm. um, and he really liked it, really enjoyed it. He's been studying Japanese for a long time and I, so his... So yeah, and so his goal, his end goal eventually is to go back to Japan and work there longer. Um, and uh, that's a possibility with Honda since they uh, are based out of Japan and have a plant in Japan. Um, but that's some, sometime in the future. Um, but yeah, Anthony really likes his job. It's, it's good. It's a good paycheck. <laughs> it's more than a paycheck. It's fulfilling work. Yeah. But yeah, that's what Anthony does. I know you guys are wondering. Yep. I also speak Japanese. I think she forgot to mention that. Anthony does speak Japanese. <laughs> I said you um, have been studying it. That's true. Um, I keep trying to get him to make videos on our channel um, teaching people how to speak Japanese, but he won't do it. I'm not that I won't do it. I'm just lazy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like you're seeing right now, Anthony just poured some yogurt in, he poured some granola in, and then he just kind of shakes it up, gets the granola and the yogurt to distribute. Um, and then, yeah, that's how it looks. Yum. Who needs to buy it when you can just make it at home? 15 minutes and you're done. Well, not 15, but like 30 minutes and you're done with an entire week's worth of food. Yeah. And it's really tasty. Too. Yeah. Um, I don't really care for the raspberries. Um, but blackberries. Everything... You hate the blackberries. No, it's the 
I think it's the raspberries I really don't like. Because they kind of have like hairs on them. It's definitely the blackberries. The blackberries are the big black ones that are like yay big. The yeah. raspberries are the, like the little Pretty red sure ones. Pretty sure it's the raspberries oh. I don't like. Well, I won't argue with me, with you, about what you <laughs> about do what or I don't like. like. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shane. You're not allowed to dislike raspberries. You can only like the blackberries. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys ever wondering, like, oh, what do they do during the weeknights when they get off of work? This we sit on uh, that couch over there, and I play Pokemon, and Shannon watches <laughs> YouTube videos. <laughs> um, but when we're feeling uh, ambitious, <laughs> <laughs> there's the word. <laughs> we may we meal prep. Woo! So exciting. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions about, you know, what Anthony's doing or what he's making, feel free to post them down in the comments and we'll answer them for you. I can make you a recipe. It's real it's easy. It's pretty simple, <laughs> so you probably don't have any questions, but if you do... Step one, get a knife. <laughs> Step two, try not to cut yourself. Uh, <laughs> I said try. We're going to win the Mega Millions tonight, Avi. We bought some lottery tickets today. Um, we got one for the Mega Millions and one for the Powerball. Um, what were the totals up to today, Anthony? 440 million for the Powerball and 328 million for the Mega Millions. Yeah, so. so... Actually, they just drew, so we probably could figure it out here soon. Whether or not we won. Well, obviously we won, because we're <laughs> awesome. Well, if this video gets posted, we probably didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> if it if it does doesn't, then you'll know. Well, you won't know, but we'll probably be in like Aruba or something like that. <laughs> yeah, we've been kind of joking that ever since I got pregnant, this baby has kind of been bad luck. Really has. Not like we don't like the baby, it's bad luck. No, it's like, we'll be like, oh, I need this player to do well. Rub the baby. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But, so, yeah. We don't usually get lottery tickets very often. Mm -mm. Um, but since the uh, totals were so high, we thought, why not? Mm -hmm. um, tell them about that interesting fact you learned about the lottery. Babe. Oh, yeah. It's something like, weirdly enough, families who play the lottery, like Mega Millions or Scratch Offs, spend like over a thousand dollars a year on the lottery, which is like insane. It's almost like smoking. That's how much you spend on it. Shannon and I, we try to limit how much we actually do spend on it. We made a rule a long time ago that we only buy lottery tickets if it's up over a hundred million, mm -hmm. which hasn't been a lot lately. And even then we miss it a lot because we don't win very much, so, well, you know. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, and I, well, the big thing about it is, you, obviously, you have to have cash to get a ticket, and we don't usually carry cash on us that often. But thanks to Christmas. <laughs> yeah, we did, we got a, a lot of cash for Christmas, so you have to be carrying it around. And I don't think we've played since I've got pregnant. No, we haven't played since, like, last year. Yeah, I can't even remember the last time we played. I, Obviously, we didn't win, so. Honestly, I think it was that one time it got up to a billion dollars. We paid, played like three times in a row, but who didn't play? Mm-hmm. Comment below if you didn't play. <laughs> yeah, or did any of you guys win the lottery? What's the secret? <laughs> <laughs> Comment below the secret. And you can find us on Patreon. Well, you can't, but you will. Maybe. In the future. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that's just kind of been our day is um, we went back to work after the holidays and we're tired. Meh. I'm tired, but Meh. I'm pregnant. Meh. Um, we went grocery shopping, we got t lottery tickets, and now we are meal prepping and vlogging to show you guys. What we're doing. I figured um, we would break up the monotony of me just posting my pregnancy videos and kind of do something different. If you're wondering, um, the garage still isn't finished. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> um, we, it's exactly how we left it. Uh, last time I vlogged, we still have a little section to finish. 
Um, but hopefully we will finish it soon. Yep. So if you guys have any favorite recipes that you like to share with us that we should try out because they're awesome or they are just extremely tasty, put them down below. We'll check them out. We read every single comment. Even I do. And I'm not even like involved. <laughs> yeah, well, the channel is Shannon and Anthony. <laughs> so you are involved. Um, but yeah, that's a good point. Uh, last year, uh, my New Year's resolution was that, uh, or maybe it was maybe even the year before that, was um, that I wanted to, Learn cook, how to cook cook more. And so I, uh, my goal was every week I would make a new recipe. And I haven't always, you know, not every week do I do it, but most weeks I do. Um, look up a recipe and then we'll go to the store get all the recipe or get all the ingredients and then I will make it um, Some of them have turned out good. Some of them have turned out terrible <laughs> Mostly um, good. I'll give you that one. mostly good, but um, Yeah, we are always looking for more recipes um, I usually like the easier ones just because it's hard when I come back from work. I'm tired Anthony's tired and it's usually me who's cooking it so um yeah, if you guys would like a Chef Shannon uh, section or a little video, weekly video, you should comment below and force my wife to start having to cook every oh, week. Oh gosh, <laughs> you won't want my cooking tutorials because I'll probably just mess it up. A lot of times It I might just, involve a lot of screaming. A lot of times I just kind of like ignore some of the directions yeah. and kind of just do what I want. <laughs> I don't like that ingredient. Like for instance, we have a recipe that we're supposed to make this week. We completely forgot to buy one of the ingredients. What? what? Swiss chard. Oh, uh, well, we're just not gonna include that. Well, that's probably like the healthiest part of it, so we well, should. Well, it's tortellini, and we got the tortellini shells, so that's all that matters. So we will uh, vlog uh, next time I make it and let you know if it turns out well or not. Oh, yeah, Creative Liberties. <laughs> yeah. Brought but... to you by hashtag I hope I survive. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so again, if you guys have any good recipes, any family recipes you've been using for a long time, you really like, um, comment down below. We'd love to try them. Anything else? Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that notification uh, bell so that when we make new videos, you are alerted right away. And please leave a like. It really helps out. Yeah. All right, well, we're signing off. Anthony's going to keep chopping, and I'm going to keep watching him. <laughs> um, yep, so that's all. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.